hitchhiker snails. I've always kind of liked those little spiral snails. Yeah, um, we actually, at my job, we had to do like a whole thing where we had to quarantine a bunch of our um, live aquatic plants because of parasitic zebra snails. Okay. Yeah. So, well, no, that's they can give your fish like parasites and stuff. But I think the little hitchhiker snails are okay, but people just see them as a nuisance because they like turn up and bleed a lot. Yes. Now, if this female snail that you brought is a female, she lays eggs. That was what I was about to ask. Does it, does, is she hermaphroditic or he, she, I mean, will it, will the eggs hatch on their own? No. So basically how the nerite snails reproduce is um, the female will go by and lay the eggs and then the male comes around and fertilizes them. But okay. both of the nerite snails that I had in his tank originally um, were both female. Hmm. So, I mean, they just never got fertilized and they would just kind of sit like on my gravel. Okay. I did not know that. I think I thought that most gastropods were hermaphroditic for some reason, but maybe my facts are obviously not. Maybe the hitchhiker snails are. I'm not 100% sure. Hmm. And uh, I just wanted to upgrade to like a little 10 gallon tank because I wanted more space to have live plants and everything because I like yes. adding all the live plants yes. to the aquarium. It's very fun. Yes. It's my favorite part. What kind of live plants do you like the best? Probably Anubias. I like how big their leaves are. And I mean, they're pretty hardy, so you can just like tie them. Um, or use like a special kind of plant friendly aquarium glue to um, attach them to like driftwood and like uh, lava stones. What's the morphology of Anubius? What does it look like? Um, well, they have like almond shaped green leaves. Okay. So and they also have like really thick roots, but the thing is with the Anubias, you can't directly plant them in the soil. Their roots have to be exposed or they'll get root rot. Hmm. So you just gotta Interesting. tie them onto something or if you put them in there, you kind of have to like let their roots stay exposed. Okay. But yeah, you do for a water change big time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. My fish are very happy, though. If you look at them, all of them have smiles on their faces. They all have smiles on their faces. 